always insisted that the onus of proof lies on the petitioner. Sections 14, 17 of the Evidence Act are very clear. He who alleges must prove. You have told your supporters across the country that you won and that they should get on the streets. People died. People got injured. People got involved in infractions with the police and got arrested because you told them you won. When you came to court, you abandoned that and said, nobody won. And the court has invited you to prove. We have always maintained that we are waiting for their witnesses who will adduce evidence to prove that at least their second argument that nobody won is true. And we have always maintained that Chairman McMenu is ready on standby. That when they prove this and it becomes necessary for us to go into the box and prove that what they are saying is not true because they would have made a preliminary case, we will do so. You have seen their three witnesses. The court has seen them. The whole country has been watching. We've all been waiting with bated breath to see the evidence that nobody won. To see the evidence that when you add or you don't add to Chiman South, the results will change. Substantially, to mean who crossed the 50% threshold. To see the evidence that Article 633. And on our side, we are not convinced that any such evidence has been put there. That is why we have announced to the court that we don't intend to call any fresh witnesses or any witnesses because on our side, the view and the belief is that that case has not been made. So the narrative has not changed. The whole country has been waiting. All the NDC supporters, I'm sure, have been glued to their TV, waiting to see their officials prove that nobody got 50%. Or that at least the first argument holds true. Now they have announced to the court that they have finished their case. And I'm sure many people are surprised. Now the second part of your question about uh, uh, why uh, Chairman McMahon will not be taking the um, witness.